Hey, Pancho, what's wrong, man? What's going on? Are you okay? Are you alright? What's wrong? Are you alright, buddy? What's that? Oh, you're sad? Wait, why are you sad? Pancho, what's wrong? Please tell me. Oh, it's because we got another dragon. Oh, it's your... Oh, you're jealous that we got another dragon and you think that I'm not going to give you all the attention that I always have? Well, you might be right a little bit. But Pancho, you need to know that you will always be my favorite dragon ever, no matter what, okay? All right. I hope that makes you a little bit happier. But anyway, guys, if you remember in the very last episode of this adventure map, Advanced Dragons 2, we did manage to get ourselves a brand new dragon. I asked you guys to leave nicknames down below, and he is a air dragon. And some of the names were actually pretty awesome. I was really happy with them, and I think the one that I'm going to go with is Cyclone. I'm pretty sure a cyclone is like a ginormous tornado, I think, or something like that. I don't really know. But anyway, guys, if you do want to play this map, you actually can very easily. All you need is Minecraft Windows Edition, and then you just have to go to the marketplace and go ahead and search in the top right, Advanced Dragons. And you'll see that there's a couple maps that pop up. Now, the first one is actually the original Advanced Dragons, but today we are playing Advanced Dragons 2. And I actually did purchase Advanced Dragons 1, but I never played it. So if that's something that you guys would like to see, be sure to let me know in the comments and also by leaving a like rating down below. But anyway, guys, I'm really excited for today because we get to test out our brand new dragon, Cyclone, who seems to be really hungry for fire. Hey, buddy, listen, I know that you breathe fire and stuff, but I don't think that means you're supposed to eat it. You need to just chill. Just chill, bro. Just chill. Now, before we start our adventure, I do want to remind all of you guys of all of the amazing dragons that we should hopefully be acquiring throughout the series. So we started off with the small dragon right here, also known as Poncho. And last episode, we managed to get ourselves the Air Dragon, also known as Cyclone. But there's a bunch of really awesome other dragons that get bigger and better and stronger as we go on. And I just cannot wait to eventually tame all of these dragons. There's so many awesome ones that I really just can't wait. I would imagine that after we tame a couple more dragons, all of the dungeons that we run through are going to be really, really easy because they're all just going to be... <laughs> breathing fire on all of the orcs and it should be pretty freaking easy now to start this adventure what i was thinking about doing was actually purchasing another trident because our one in the last episode broke however i do need a pickaxe to pick up this shulker box so unfortunately i am gonna have to go ahead and buy a pickaxe which means that we can't actually afford a trident right now but anyway, this is going to free up a lot of space in our inventory because it was starting to get pretty cluttered. We actually do have a fire upgrade that I'm going to use on Cyclone because I want to make him really good since he's the new guy in town. And also, I want to try something on him as well. So there we go. He now has the upgraded fire. And I do really like the blue color on him. However, we do have a color changer and it's like free to use and you get unlimited uses. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out and see if I like any other color better on him. Oh, I actually do like the light, the, like the light blue. It's more like a sky blue, which kind of makes sense because he's a he's a sky dragon. But then we have a dark blue. Okay, that's pretty cool. And I'd imagine that's all three colors that you get. So yeah, you just have to choose. <gasps> Whoa, this one has like a red trim. That's actually so cool. Wait, I wait. I think I like the red trim. Oh my god. Yeah, we're definitely going with the one with the red trim. That looks really, really cool. I think that I like the lighter blue more. Maybe? I don't even know. But the red trim is just way too cool to pass up. But anyway, guys, I'm really excited to hopefully find another dungeon in today's episode. Because that would mean that we're going to get a bunch more loot. Now, I will say that my... Iron sword is almost broken, which means I can't really fight too much longer before I don't have a weapon. So I'm really hoping that my two dragons will now be able to really help me out in battle. Now, Poncho, you know, he was cool. He was good and stuff, but he wasn't like an epic, amazing dragon. So hopefully Cyclone can help him out with some of those battles. But anyway, let's go ahead and fly on our brand new dragon. He actually has four wings, dude. Look how epic this is. Now, I'm not sure if Poncho is really gonna be able to keep up because um, he he's not really the fastest or, smart or smartest or brightest or handsomest dragon in the world. But, oh, it looks like he just teleported. Where, where did he go? I don't know if he just follows us where we go or not, but this is so freaking awesome. Look at this. Okay, so it seems like all of your dragons just teleport to you if you don't have them sitting. And there's a bunch of leads in here. I don't think I really want any of them. Well, a bunch of arrows. That could actually be really useful. 
That could actually be really useful. Okay, cool. Oh, we got a bow. Okay, so that's a different tool that we didn't really have before. And here's another waypoint. So this is the shooting range. I'm not really sure what the purpose of it. I mean, I guess it's to practice, but I'm wondering if you get like any... Okay, I just completely missed that apparently. There we go. But I'm wondering if you actually get... Wait, these arrows are going so fast, I feel like. But I wonder if you actually get anything for hitting all of the targets. Let's see. It doesn't look like it, but it seems like there's a little dragon parade going on. All right, let's fly out. I'm not sure I really want to take out another dungeon today because we did that last episode and there's only six of them in the entire map. So I kind of want to save them for future episodes, especially for when we get more dragons and more powerful dragons. I feel like the dungeon that we took out last episode was probably one of the easier ones. Excuse me, buddy. I don't like that at all. Oh, wait, there's a ton of orcs. Whoa, there's a lot of orcs here. Hey, Dragon, Cyclone, and Poncho, I could use some help, please. Or or not, or you guys, actually, they did, I mean, they killed one orc. Okay, all right, let's see if they can take out this big mama orc who's actually coming for me, so it should be pretty free. Oh, also, check out Sky's Fire. It's like ice. It's like, ow, 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 ow. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeet, right in the eyeball. Ow. Wait, why are the polar bears attacking me too? What, wait, polar bears? I didn't do anything to you. What? What? Wait, are you gonna- Whoa, bro, chill! What the heck? I literally didn't even do anything to you. What are you attacking me for? Guys, don't hurt the polar bear. They're really cute. I think she's just trying to defend her cub. She, she doesn't want me to attack her cub. And I won't because it's freaking adorable. Die, you stupid orc. Die, thank you. Thank, die, and die, and thank you. Okay. So I think we actually have enough loot now to get ourselves a trident. But I don't really feel like flying back right now so let's continue on this pathway i'm not entirely sure where it leads i feel like guys come on help me out let's go come on poncho let me see it hey a boy little final blow nice but i feel like it definitely might lead to a dungeon which again is not really what i'm going to be doing in today's episode and okay this is most certainly a dungeon like look ice it's literally called the ice dungeon okay Oh, wait, so what we did last- Whoa, my god, dude, it just came out of nowhere. Oh, jeez, I'm getting jump scared out here. All right, so it seems like last the last thing that we did wasn't really a dungeon because we didn't, like, have the option to select the difficulty on what we did in the last episode, which kind of makes me want to do this dungeon now, but also makes me a little bit scared because I don't want to die. Like, I only have a- I, I don't have that good armor. My weapons are about to break. But at the same time, all right, boys, a boy, nice, nice, nice. But yeah, at the same time, like, I kind of want to try it out. Hmm. All right, um, what to do, what to do. If you guys leave a like right now, I'll do the dungeon. So, oh, you guys have to like, all right, sweet, sweet. <laughs> all right, let's do the dungeon on difficulty medium. I have literally no idea how difficult this is going to be. I'm not sure if this dungeon is supposed to be like one of the final dungeons and it's going to be really hard because I only have two dragons right now, which is definitely... Not a lot, especially because neither of them are that great of dragons. So, we can try this out. Oh my god. Alright, I get it, bro. I get it. Jeez, like, you're orcs and you're annoying and you're fat. Like, I get it. You don't gotta keep blowing horns in my ears. Okay. So, we're on the difficulty medium here. Um, I, I, and I don't like this. There's a flying orc. These guys were like the final stage of the last thing last episode. And they're at the start of this. What is that? Is that a little bomb? We might have to retreat, guys. I don't know if this is a good idea at all. Um, that is a very armored orc. The reason, like, I'm a little bit scared is because this is literally just the start of the, of the dungeon. Which is typically the easiest part is the start. And we, um, you know, th these are some, some strong orcs. Okay, that's gotta be like a creeper orc. Look out! No, guys! <gasps> that was scary. That Stop, like, running and dancing as if you had that all under control. You were literally about to blow up, Cyclone. Come on. All right, well, so far, so good. This is pretty intense, though. Well, I mean, there's nothing here now. Maybe they got scared. They saw how... I think... Is this a boss? This has to be the boss, right? Die, you old stinky man! Okay, maybe that was <laughs> maybe that wasn't the boss. Okay, these orcs are literally clueless. Like, if they don't see me, they they can't smell. Okay, come on, guys, get in there. As long as they're Poncho, please. 
Poncho, please help. Yeah. 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 Burn him. Burn him, boy. All right. As long as the orcs are looking at me, though, I think that we're good. Oh, my God. Please. Please, Poncho. Cyclone and Poncho, you got it. You got it. You got it. Yes, we got one. Okay. Now we can help with this. Nice. Good job, guys. You burn their butts while I stab their eyeballs. Okay. I wonder, like, what this wizard orc dropped. Nothing too special by the looks of it. Um... Okay, I mean, if that was the dungeon, that was really, really easy. I'm just gonna keep going though, and there's a little bomb up there. Okay, the, okay, the dungeon definitely continues. I'm really scared about, oh God, that one like wizard orc that we saw, he looked really, really good. I just sniped his eyeballs out and then he died. And so I didn't really get a chance to fight him or see what he's all about. But next time I see one, I'm gonna, no, I don't- I don't like these little bombs. Poncho, please look out. Please. Okay. I'm not sure if the bombs blow up my dragons. Maybe they only blow me up. I'm not sure. But so far, we're kind of steamrolling through these orcs. I'm not gonna lie. Just look at me. I'm just scared that the big orcs are going to attack my dragons because... Poncho has died once to a big orc, and so every time I see one, I- I just- I don't like it. I get scared. And- Oh god. My sword is about to break, boys. This is not good at all. Please die! Please die. I need to conserve my sword. Nope. Eh, die. Okay, nice. We are getting a lot of loot, though, which is great news. We can actually definitely buy ourselves a trident already. But um, I'm going to save it. Let me actually make sure that these boys are all healed up. And they are. And they are. Okay, they literally didn't take any damage. Excuse me. Lovely stuff. I am really, really nervous about my sword that's about to break, though, because I'm not really going to be able to help out in fights after that happens. Um, I do have some arrows. I'm actually really fortunate that I picked up these this bow and arrow on the way here, because had I not done that... Oh, and there goes my sword. Okay. Okay. This is just not good. This is just... Oh, yeah. No, this is just not good at all. That is a big bad man. That is a big bad man. I, we might have to retreat. Where's pa guys? Come back. Come back a little. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We gotta play this smart. Play this smart. We gotta take him out one at a time. One at a time. One at a time. How many arrows do I have? Not that many arrows left, guys. I don't know if I can take out this dungeon. Oh no. There's l there's big bad orcs. Oh god. Ow. Did not. Ow. Ow. What is hitting me? Okay. Nah. Die, you little rat. There you go. But look at this big bad man. That is a big scary orc. Please don't see me. Yeah, he doesn't see me. He has no idea what's happening. I'm just poking out his eyeballs out and he doesn't even... Hey, little goblin. What's up, little goblin? Little goblin boy. Die, stupid goblin. Nice. Okay, that guy, look, he's all juiced up. He's got armor on and everything. Like, I don't like this. This is very scary. Very scary. That's a big orc. Maybe this is the boss. Honestly, this could be the boss. Hey, buddy, listen, just back up. Just don't. I gotta kill this little guy. Ow, 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 ow. Get him. Get him. Bite his toes. He's dead. All right, nice. Okay, doing this without a sword is not very easy, but it is kind of fun. Wait, I think we have two diamonds now. Wait, do I not have a diamond in my shulker box? I, oh, I have three diamonds. Do I have any wood? I don't have any wood. Gosh dang it. If I had wood, I would have been able to craft... A diamond sword, which would have been really nice. And here is another one of those stinking wizard orcs. Not cool. I don't like these wizard orcs. What? What is he? A I want to see like what he does because we didn't actually see what he did last time. He looks like a necromancer orc. Maybe he summons. Oh my god! He just poisoned me. He did a lot of damage. Okay, I don't like that at all. Ow! Yeah, he poisons me, bro. That is just not cool at all. Really not. Wait, can I mine this stuff? Oh, I can. Interesting. I probably should. Well, I don't really know if I can smelt it. Well, I might as well. Okay, we only have 35 arrows left, and we only have a diamond pickaxe for a weapon, if you want to call it a weapon. I don't know. But it seems like this dungeon just continues to go and go and go, which is very, very, very scary. Especially- Wait, there's chests up there. Maybe that's the end. What's up, boy? What's up? Yeah! Eat my pickaxe! It actually does, like, five damage, so it's not even that bad as a weapon. I mean, it's not as good as a sword, but I, I guess it gets the job done? I don't really know. Okay, wait, is this the end? Did I do it? Hello? Teleport back to the start. Oh, wait, we did it! 
What do we get? Wait, we didn't even get anything that... Wait a sec. I mean, we got a diamond pickaxe. So that's a pretty decent weapon, I guess. And we got a name tag as well. So we can actually officially name our dragons. But is that... Wait, that was the whole dungeon? Really? Okay. I mean, that was... That wasn't that hard. We didn't play it on the hardest difficulty. We only played it on medium. So maybe we'll be able to go back and play it on the hardest difficulty and see what that entails. But honestly, I was expecting that to be a lot harder just because I didn't even really have any good weapons and I have two... I don't want to say bad dragons because I love them to death, but I have two dragons that, well, you know, they could use some improvement, we'll say. They're, they're, they're not, they're just not like the highest tier, okay? I, I, I try to put that the nicest way possible. Die, you stupid orcs. Die. Okay. On a good note, though, we got a ton of loot. Which is really good. We can trade them in for emeralds, which we can buy dragon eggs with. So, hopefully we can actually buy another dragon egg. Or maybe two, or maybe three, or maybe four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight, or nine. No, we won't be able to get that many. But what I'm probably going to do, um, is buy some of, like, the lower tier dragons that I skipped last episode. Because I know that there's a snake dragon, and then there's, like, that one green dragon. And the objective of the series, guys... Oh, my... Gosh, that dude came out of nowhere. What? Like, these dudes need to chill with their jump scare. Like, these guys, these little rats right here. Like, y'all gotta chill out with that. But anyway, anywho, the objective of the series is ultimately to tame every single dragon that there is. And so, I figure it's probably best to tame all of the lower tier dragons before going ahead and, oh god, we're teleporting, I'm getting dizzy. But yeah, it's probably best to tame all of the lower leveled dragons before going ahead and purchasing, you know, the most expensive ones. So anyway, let's go ahead and get all these emeralds. So this gets us six? Wait, no, it gets us eight emeralds for a stack, which is pretty decent. So we're up to 35 emeralds, and then we have a bunch of rare loot, which is gonna get us up to 55. If we go over, boom, 55 emeralds, which means that we can get Oh, five big emeralds. You know, I actually thought that we were going to get a lot more than that, to be honest. Okay. Well, with five... Excuse me. But with five big emeralds, I think that we can... Okay. Yeah. All right. We can get... We can get this guy. The green dragon. Probably the derpiest dragon you will ever see. But you know what? I love derpy looking dragons. I'm not looking at Poncho at all when I say that. Definitely have nothing... Has nothing to do with Poncho. But anyway, let's go ahead and purchase the green dragon egg. Now again, this dragon isn't really that great. You can tell by the stats right there, but this is only episode number three of the series. And to have three different dragons, I feel like in three different episodes is pretty good. That's a pretty good and consistent way to go. Now I'm not really sure if we'll be able to stay that consistent because as we look into the better dragons here, you'll see that the emeralds just go crazy through the roof with how many you need. Like, 40 big emeralds, guys. Do you know how much loot that is? That is so much loot. From that entire dungeon that we just did, we only got five big emeralds from that. And we fought a lot of orcs on the way there as well. So, we basically have to do that, but eight more times, in order just to get that one dragon. I think that was a three-headed dragon or something. But yeah, so we're going to have to do a lot of grinding and probably have to fight some of the harder dungeons. I don't know if that was one of the harder dungeons. It seems like it was right there. I know that this dungeon looks really scary. It's a giant volcano with a ginormous dragon skull at the front of it. I feel like that one's probably going to be very, very scary and probably challenging. So hopefully when we do eventually take on this dungeon, it will give us a ton of loot to actually buy some bigger and badder dragons. Now, the more dragons that we get, the better we're gonna be at fighting which means the more orcs we're going to be able to kill, which means the more loot we're going to get. So this is sort of like an investment in the future. But let's go ahead and put this dragon down. Go ahead and get our hammer out and hatch this bad boy. In the picture, he looks pretty big and fat and chunky. So hopefully he'll be like pretty tanky for our team. And he'll just like derp around. Oh, he's, he's so chunky. I know he's a little tater tot, but... He's even a little chunky as a little baby. All right, let's go ahead and feed him up. Get him all fully grown. And there we go. Look at this guy. Oh, my gosh. I love the color of him as well. I don't even want to change the color, but I'm going to look at the other colors just to see 
um, what he looks like in other colors. But guys, since we do have a brand new dragon, you know what that means? We have to name him. I'm thinking Steve. Just a really derpy name. If your name is Steve in your life, I don't, that wasn't, I don't know. I look at him and I think Steve. Like, hello, my name is Steve. I'm a dragon and uh, I like cupcakes. Like, that's what I think he would sound like. But if you guys have any other names, um, please go ahead and let me know. But before I do sign out in today's video, um, let's see what he looks like in some other colors. So I do like this regular green a lot. And then a lime green kind of... Ooh, I think I like this green more, to be honest. It's like a swampy green. Oh, this one makes him look like a little zombie. Uh, yeah, I, I like this one the most, I think. It's like a darker green... I don't know. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. But anyway, guys, I'm really excited to go ahead and try to use our brand new dragon. But I'm really happy with the way that Cyclone actually performed in today's video. I really, really like his, like, blue fire that he spews out. It's really cool. Oh, God. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy today's video and today's episode of Advanced Dragons number two, be sure to go ahead and smash the heck of that like button. If you guys do want to play the adventure map, I told you how to do it earlier in the video, so be sure to go ahead and check it out. But anyway, guys, it is going to be it. Thank you all so much for hanging out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later, guys.